Allegiant Stadium is one step closer to completion. Hey everyone, Cassie Soto and Mick Akers here, your Allegiant Stadium crew. Mick, is it true that Allegiant Stadium is finally fully enclosed? Yeah, finally after you know a few months of waiting, um, topped it off today with the last roof panels. Uh, so it's completely 100% enclosed, um, guarding it from the weather and the elements and all that. So, you know, long time coming, but finally, you know, capped it off today. And what's cool about this roof, Mick, is that it does give the stadium that outdoor feel without having that 1,000 degree Las Vegas heat affecting it. Isn't that right? Yeah, it's translucent. So, you know, it lets the sunlight in for, you know, daytime games to get some natural lighting. But you also get the comfort of, you know, anything in Las Vegas, um, climate controlled, 100 something degrees out sometimes, you know, in August. So, you know, nice, you know, nice outdoor feel with the indoor elements of, you know, 70 something degree weather instead of 100 and something outside. Yeah, well, we know that construction is obviously continuing because it because it has been deemed essential. Uh, what are sort of the precautions that Allegiant Stadium, uh, the workers there are taking uh, to just be safe overall? Yeah, they just increase some of the safety measures as far they do a verbal check of every worker on, that comes on site, making sure, you know, they're not feeling ill or anything. And once they do anyone feeling ill, they send them home. Uh, they increase their, increase their cleaning operations, sanitizing operations, um, no group work, you know, large group work. Um, they're going by the six foot social distancing, all that, you know, and um, kind of, you know, they're kind of progressing as the governor adds, you know, new precautions. So, you know, it's kind of like just like any other uh, essential business, um, they keep adding on some new guidelines. So they're just kind of staying on top of those. Well, now that it is enclosed, what's sort of the next big milestone? Or will we see a lot of more cos cosmetics on the inside being done because now rain won't be a factor and won't affect any of those sweet black seats they've got put in there? Yeah, I'd say as far as anything visual, if you're driving by, it's just going to be the uh, continued um, landscaping and paving and sidewalk work around the stadium. Uh, they've been moving off some of those trailers um, one by one that they've had on site since you know beginning. So once those are all gone, they'll start paving that over there. So and they have a whole bunch of it going around the stadium now with sidewalk and everything. So it's starting to actually you know look like the, the stadium instead of just a dirt lot with you know, a, a structure in the middle of it. So it's kind of taking shape. You can kind of see the road and the sidewalk, um, how they how they want it laid out and all that. So just from the eyes, you, you'll be seeing that. And the, um, the light ribbon around the stadium as well, that's, you know, pretty much all the way done. There's a pretty large portion on the south end that hasn't had pretty much any of it, but they started um, getting on that today. Uh, inside, they're working on the seats, video boards, the Al Davis Memorial Torch, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. But you know, once we get in there one of these days, we'll be able to update on that as well. <laughs> All right. Well, when that time comes, Mick, we can't wait for that. Thank you, as always, for the updates. Hey, thanks for having me. Well, that was Mick Akers. I'm Cassie Soto. Everything you need to know about Allegiant Stadium, head on over to VegasNation.com.